To learn about the craft of filmmaking, don't bother with what a college professor read in a textbook. Go to someone with real big budget directing experience. Go to Diva to learn from Thomas Blank, a recently retired Hollywood director. We all start thinking we're going to do great art. It has to do with who you know. It doesn't make any difference what you're putting through the camera, whether it's film or tape. If it's lit the same way, you can show it on the big screen. You don't go home and go to sleep, you go home and figure out what you can do the next day. You have to think what the cut is. You have to think of, in this scene, what's the transition that gets me from this image to this image. And if you can, as a writer, provide that transition, it's, uh, it just makes it easier for everybody. You have to know the contracts of all the players. You give up your relationships for the most part. If you have a spouse at home, the spouse has to be willing to pick up the slack and to make allowances. The thing about working in film of any kind, if you do it all the time, if you're going crazy with your life because you're working 15 hours a day, what your life is about is the people around you. It's a question of creating a family that will last for a month or six months. It becomes a social activity. So you notice the move here, it's, you know, the, the point is to obscure the lens so that basically dull material has a little visual action in it. You can look at these people walking in and looking around. It's not immediately compelling. The, uh, the camera has to do something to make it meaningful. If you didn't like who you're working for, just take three deep breaths and it will change. It's just as hard to make a bad movie as a good one. On Saturday mornings, Tom teaches an ongoing workshop in the techniques of turning a script into a professional level screenplay, followed by Sunday afternoons when he screens classic films from around the world. The Downtown Initiative for the Visual Arts, 110 West Broadway, in Eugene.